Welcome to this tutorial on the use of the IEA's IDB Analyzer. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the IDB Analyzer to work with logistic regression. The logistic regression allows you to calculate a logistic function that best predicts a binary dependent variable from one or more independent variables. You can use continuous or categorical variables as independent variables and automatically code the categorical variables using different types of coding schemes. To follow along this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer running one of the latest versions of Microsoft Windows. This can be a PC or Apple machine running a Windows emulator. The latest version of the IDB Analyzer, which can be downloaded from the IEA website. One of the latest versions of SPSS for Windows. And a dataset for your analysis. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use Perl's data from the 2011 assessment and that was copied to your computer together with your copy of the IDB Analyzer. The IDB Analyzer is a standalone application that creates SPSS syntax to merge and conduct analysis with large-scale assessment data. For a complete list of compatible studies, please refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer. This tutorial will show you how to work with data from any of those studies. Remember that because of the nature of the data collection design, you will need to use sampling weights, use replication methods for estimating sampling variance, use plausible values when analyzing achievement data, estimate measurement variance, and combine the error terms for use in significance testing. Ignoring these design features leads to biased results. The technical documentation of each study has details of the specific procedures to be applied in each assessment. The analysis module of the IDB Analyzer is a tool that allows you to select variables relevant for your analysis, create code in SPSS that will be used for the analysis, conduct analysis taking into account the sample and assessment design, and produce results in different formats that can be readily used by other software. It works by reading a data file stored in your local computer. It then uses SPSS as a computation engine for the analysis. Please note that for more efficient processing, you should use your local machine to save all your results. Before we get started, take this opportunity to launch the IDB Analyzer. If you haven't downloaded the, a copy of the IDB Analyzer, please refer to the first tutorial of this series where you will receive instructions on how to download and install the IDB Analyzer. Also, please start your copy of SPSS. When conducting an analysis, you will first need to select the analysis type. The program will only allow you to select permissible analysis types based on the contents of your data files. In the second step, you will need to select the statistic type. In our case, you will select logistic regression. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will show you how to conduct the following analysis. First, compute a logistic regression equation predicting a student agreeing a lot that they like school as a function of their gender and their scales of being bullied at school and being engaged in reading lessons. We will also calculate the interaction effect between gender and being bullied at school. Then we will compute a logistic regression equation predicting students agreeing a lot they like school as a function of their gender, the scales of being bullied at school and being engaged in reading lessons, and the reading plus all value. To start our analysis, we will select Analysis Module. Then we will select the file that we want to work with. In this case, we're going to select the file that has Merge Perl's Data underscore R, where we have placed a dichotomous variable for this analysis. Now open. We're going to do analysis using student weights. For statistic type, we will select Logistic Regression. For our first example, we will not be using plus all values. And then we're going to proceed to select our analysis variable. As independent variables, the first one that we select is going to be a categorical variable, which is student gender. And notice how we're going to be, and notice how we're going to have the choice of selecting several contrasts. Uh, we're going to do the default, which is indicator, and the reference category is going to be the default. 
For more information about the function of each one of these contrasts and the reference categories, please refer to the SPSS manual. For continuous variables, we're going to be selecting the variable uh, of being bullied in school and enjoying reading lessons. And that's going to be ASBG SBS for bullied at school. Engaged in reading lesson. And for interaction, we're going to be selecting the interaction of being bullied at school with the gender variable. For our dependent variable, we're going to select a variable which is called ASBG08, the one that has the underscore, which has been dichotomized. How much do you agree that you like being in school? And then we're going to define the output file, and we're going to call that statistic regression with no PV. We'll start SPSS. Once we're in SPSS, we can do press Control A, Control R to submit the analysis, or we can do run all. You can follow the processing on the bottom right hand of the screen. Once the analysis is done, you have the output on your screen. And let's take a look at what we have there. We have on the first screen, screen you have for each one of the variables in your analysis, you have unweighted statistics by country in this case. You would have descriptives for each of the variables in your analysis. Then you would have weighted statistics for all your variables in the analysis. You would have how the categor categorical variables were coded. In this case, we use the gender variable, and you have the parameter coding for those variables. And you have the output where you will get for each country the statistics relevant to the logistic regression with their corresponding standard errors. These are the model statistics for the overall solution followed by the regression coefficients where you will have for each country, you'll have the constant. You will have, this is for the continuous variables of being bullied in school. Uh, and then you have for gender, you'll have the, uh, the statistic. And you will have the interaction effect between being bullied in school and gender. You have the standard error of the regression coefficient. You have your well statistic, your degrees of freedom, and the significance and the exponent of the regression coefficient. You also have in your output directory the corresponding Excel files with the model statistics. For each country. And you also have the coefficients. In our second analysis, we're going to be using a plus all value as part of our regression equation. So we're going to go back here and select plus all value option, use PVs as our categorical variable. Again, we're going to select student's gender. For continuous variables, we'll select ASBG SPS for being bullied in school. And we're going to be selecting ASPG ER, ASPG ERL for engage in reading lessons. For our plus value, we're going to be selecting the reading 
overall reading score. And our dependent variable is going to be the same one that we selected for the previous analysis, which is going to be a s p t 0 8 a r. How much do you agree that you like reading, that you like being in school? And we're going to define the name of the output file, and we're going to call this logistic compression with PV. Notice that when you use PV, you can specify uh, an interaction effect with the plus all values, or you can specify interaction effects between the, either the continuous or the categorical variables. You can make those selections here and here to interact with the plus all values. Next, we start SPSS. And we get our SPSS code. And again, we can run it by pressing Control A followed by Control R or by doing run all. You can follow the progress by looking at the lower right hand side of the screen. So once our output is ready, let's review the output file. And we'll see that like in the previous example, we'll have first unweighted statistics for for the variables in the analysis this is followed by weighted statistics for the variables in the analysis you'll see here that you have the statistics for each one of the plus whole values in the case of pearls you have five plus whole values And in terms of the results, you have first your model statistics. So you have your minus two log of likelihood, your Cox and Snell R squared, your Nagelkerker R squared with the corresponding standard errors. And you have your regression coefficients for each country where you have the constant, the regression coefficient for being bullied in school or um, being engaged in reading your reading achievement, and your gender variable. With the corresponding standard error, your wall statistic, significance, and the exponent of your regression coefficient. You also have in your output directory the corresponding Excel file with your model statistics and your uh, regression coefficients. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on using the IDB Analyzer, please view our other online tutorials or refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer.